Welcome everyone, Apple has released iOS 16 to the iPhone XR in the form of Beta 1. I'm going to go through all of the new features with iOS 16 on the iPhone XR and I will also cover stability, performance and battery life of Beta 1. Do keep in mind, this is a beta, so uh, you know, with future beta releases, iOS 16 should become even better than what you currently see. All right, let's take a look at the main feature. This is the custom lock screen. So when you first go to the lock screen, you will see your old lock screen, but the, te uh, the text here will be slightly different. And so in order to customize the lock screen, you now go to lock screen and you just long press in the empty space. And once you do this, you'll be brought to this menu. This menu is very similar to the Apple Watch menu uh, for customizing the lock screen. Uh, so if you use the Apple Watch, using this will be very simple. Now all you do is you can slide to uh, the left to see any other lock screens you make in the future. And if you slide to the right, this will bring you to the first lock screen, which you had in iOS 15. All right, let's create a uh, new lock screen. So you just tap on the plus here. And once you tap on the plus, you can just choose whatever wallpaper you would like. You can also choose your own custom wallpaper right here. So let's choose this one. Once you choose it, you're going to see all of the uh, these options to customize. Now, keep in mind, this is very important. Uh, depending on the wallpaper you choose, you may not be able to customize every single part of the lock screen. So with some wallpapers, they don't allow you to customize uh, the complications, which is the small widgets. And you can't uh, customize maybe the clock as much uh, or the date. But in here, we can customize everything. So I'm going to show you how to customize it all. So you just tap on the plus. And you can see here, we have the option to add the widget. So you can scroll down as well if you'd like. So we'll just go like this. Boom. Now, if you ever like to move stuff, you can just drag, drop, boom. You can always tap on the X to remove. So let's close out that one. And then we see here the time. If we tap into this one, we can change the font and the color. Keep in mind, depending on which lock screen you choose, you may not be able to customize the color uh, of the text. And only the font changes will be available. Okay, let's exit out that and let's go to the date here. So you can actually change this. So go here, boom, you can see I can add a weather widget. It's pretty darn neat, but just keep in mind you can't move this stuff around. Okay, so drag drop, not working. Uh, it's not the best, but it looks pretty darn cool. If uh, someone with iOS 15 sees that, they're probably going to upgrade their device to the iOS 16. Okay, now here is what's really cool is you can create multiple lock screens in number one and number two. You can have it so depending if you're on work, the lock screen will change or if you're about to sleep, the lock screen changes. So how do you do that? So what we're going to do, and I'm going to just go to this lock screen here I'm going to go to the home screen. And then from here, you uh, load up the settings, you find the focus, and then you see here all of your focus. So I'm going to uh, tap on uh, the sleep and I'll just go customize. And if we scroll down here, you see this customize screens. This is the, uh, the new feature. If we tap on choose, you can choose the lock screen you created. So if we go boom, and we tap on done. Now watch this. Once you've uh, selected that lock screen, when the focus changes, the wallpaper will also change. So if we go to sleep focus, you can see the wallpaper changes. Okay. And all of the, you know, the widget stuff like that will also change. One thing to keep in mind with this is while it is cool and all, uh, just keep in mind, you could do this of iOS 15. However, the process of iOS 15 took 10 to 20 minutes it was buggy uh if you got it working it worked but you know with ios 16 it's far simpler all right they've changed stuff with messages so with messages you may have sent a message and you want to undo the message or you want to edit the message well guess what with ios 16 they allow you to do that but there's one important thing okay so when you send a message i don't have our iMessage account linked let's say you send your message right it won't let me send uh you just long press on the message and then you get the option to edit or undo the edit feature will show up on friends devices or family devices whoever you're messaging your edits will apply even if their device is on ios 15 okay however if you undo the send so if you delete the message uh it will not apply on ios 15 so be careful if someone you're messaging is on the older ios firmwares the undo message feature will not work and even if you undo the message they will still see it on their end uh, maybe that will change. Maybe Apple can do some server update. However, it doesn't seem like that will be a thing uh, which they can do. All right, let's take a look at the wallet. So if we go to the wallet here, we have some new features. So 
Uh, if we wait for that, boom. So when it comes to wallet, you know how buy now, pay later. So if you're under 18, you probably can't use this. However, uh, if you have, I'm assuming it relies on credit score, because if you don't need a credit score, I'm just saying anyone like a 10 year old could, uh, you know, use buy now, pay later. So how this works is uh, spend, let's say hundred pounds, but instead of actually spending the 400 pounds, Apple will give the company hundred pounds and they will only charge you 25 pounds, okay? And then with full installments, I think it's up to six, you will pay back monthly or termly or whatever the time period is. And what's great is there's 0% interest. So Apple, they're encouraging borrowing, uh, but what's really cool though is you uh, can use your current debit cards for the payments. So I think that is a pretty darn cool feature uh, in iOS 16. You can also add uh, your ID card. This is limited to, I think, two states currently. Uh, it increased from the one state with the iOS 15. And with the ID card, you can, you know, authenticate yourself to prove that you're over 18, stuff like that. I'm assuming with the future betas and the public rollout, uh, this ID feature will be available uh, to more countries, more regions, and that will be pretty darn cool. Although it's a bit concerning. I think it's a bit of a privacy concern, but if you don't use it, well, guess what, you don't have to use it. All right, dictation, they've changed this one. So you can now... Okay, so let's enable the dictation. Uh, so right now, it seems like it isn't working. So the feature is you can type while dictating at the same time. So if we turn dictation, what should be happening is the keyboard shouldn't be blowing out. Okay, and then if you just stopped speaking, you'd be able to tap on the keyboard and then edit. It seems like this feature isn't working on the iPhone XR. Uh, I'm hoping that they didn't unsupport that feature uh let's just hope not because apple you know buy the new iphone but that should be coming if it isn't available in ios 16 based one which it doesn't seem like it is on my iphone tonight now when it comes to maps we have some new stuff there so uh here's what's up uh if you go from point a to point b you know sometimes you want to stop on the way to a service station petrol uh or some shops now you can add stops to your route inside the maps okay so let's say uh, you go from point A to point B and you want to stop along the way, you can add the stops into the maps and boom, it will stop there and it will show you the directions. So that's helpful uh, if you want to go to the service stations. It's not game changing, but it's helpful. They've also added a feature so that you can see uh, the costs for your buses and your trains and stuff like that. You can see the uh, ticket prices inside the app and you can also see the timetable. I don't know how many regions support that, but it is available. And they've also added a feature. So if I go to a photo, usually you can uh, view the text. So I don't know. Oh, I'm on, I'm on the website. No, I'm on the photo. Usually you can, there we go, the live text here. Okay, so I tap on it, boom, you can access the text. However, this is only for photos, but with iOS 16, you can do the same for videos. Yes, that's right. You can get the text, which is from a video that is now available in iOS 16. So that's not just limited to photos. Look, being honest, you could just take a screenshot and then, but you know, it's a pretty darn cool feature, nonetheless. Now, really, that's most of the things that change with iOS 16. There was not much. There was small stuff like home. They changed the user interface. CarPlay. They made the user interface a bit better. Uh, if you get a new car from 2023 and onwards, you had to change like the dashboard with the CarPlay interface. But you know, this stuff isn't big. Uh, the main stuff: lock screen, messages, uh, the focus mode. All right, let's take a look at how iOS 16 performs on the iPhone XR, and there's no complaints. So uh, I'm going to be honest here, I uh, haven't used this phone that much, but with the amount of usage I have had, I can test the performance. So if I just close out of everything, like so, load up the apps. Uh, okay, uh, if you're loading from a saved place, so let's say uh, in the past the settings, you're in, let's say, the notification page, the app launch times are not great. But if you just, you know, have everything on the home page and I relaunch, you can see app launch times are perfectly fine. So that's just something to keep in mind. That is an issue with the RAM. So if you're on the home page, you're going to have good app launch times, but the RAM doesn't seem the most optimized of iOS 16. But again, it's beta 1, so uh, let's keep that in mind. Now, the weird thing is the battery life. This is what you're going to care about most. Performance you can buy with, but battery life, that's the most important. And the battery life is actually good. So I tested the battery on my iPhone 8, which is off screen, and I have the chart with the battery drain on iOS 15 and iOS 16, and it's literally the same. This is beta one, this shouldn't have good battery life, but it does. For iOS 14 with bad battery, iOS 15 with bad battery, iOS 16, 
great battery and of course i'm talking about beta one of all those firmwares so if you care about the battery if you care about your battery health plummeting that's not concerned with ios 16 beta one which is pretty darn cool so this is a firmware you could honestly main there was a small bug where like the phone glitched out for a little bit showed a spinning wheel and went back to the lock screen but that only happened once and it happened when i was trying to glitch the operating system by playing with the focus mode so if you're not uh, trying to intentionally break ios 16 when you have antenna it's a great experience and you know what? you may want to upgrade and if you do want to upgrade i do have my uh, tutorial on how to do that in the description down below so upgrade the software and enjoy that's all there is to it thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye